Ah yes, the classic eye tutorial. I can't believe this was like two years ago. Look at that. 3.6 million views. This video gave me a lot of money, not gonna lie. If you want to draw eyes, stop doing this almond shape. First off, eyes aren't symmetrical. What you can do instead is to do the ramen bowl method. The ramen bowl method. Ah yes, I was such a genius for calling it that. Juicy ramen bowl. Step one, draw the eye shape. So this ramen bowl method starts with a parallel okay so she's already drawing i'm gonna open up ibis paint by the way my original drawing app is clip studio which is in the description anyway so on ibis paint i'm gonna use the dip pen for sketching let's just draw a smegzy parallelogram real quick i bet y'all didn't even know what a parallelogram was before that video all right now that we have this parallelogram let's insert the ramen bowl see those two corners right there we're gonna draw our ramen bowl into the parallelogram and basically just draw curvy lines to connect it to the parallelogram okay cooling why didn't you just call it semicircle like are you stupid or what you failed math or something next up we're gonna draw half a circle okay half a circle all right now i'm gonna erase all the guidelines so you guys can see the sketch more clearly keep in mind that i'm using a soft eraser i'm also gonna draw the eyelid and the eyebrows okay erase guidelines got it mommy Alright, so this part has no voiceover. I guess we're all on our own now. What a crappy tutorial. Okay, so basically we're just gonna improve the sketch. So for this, I'm gonna stop using this basic as hell brush and start using this Cooleen inspired brush. This is fan made. Here's the QR code so you can screenshot it real quick. I found it one time I was looking my name up on Facebook because I'm a narcissist. Anyway, okay, yes, juicy ads. Alright, let's just do the wing. So what I'm doing here is using my Cooleen inspired brush to basically add more details and then using a soft airbrush eraser to remove the crappy lines notice how the eyelashes are curved downwards rather than upwards but you know honestly that just depends on the angle all right eyelashes old coolie forgot to mention this but here is a tip when drawing eyelashes basically just draw a line in the middle like this to separate the direction the right and to the left so let's add more juicy lashes and even juicier bottom lashes Lastly, I use a mesh transformation to fix any deformities, and for people drawing on paper, you can just go sit in a corner and cry. Wow, old Cooleen was a savage. I have three main brushes. First is this brush, which is just a really hard brush. This is the default brush in Clip Studio. Okay, so this baby number one, I don't use this anymore. I just use the lasso fill, which I'll show later. Second is my favorite brush. I use this baby for sketching, blending, and and refining my drawings. Now, baby number two, however, we are staying strong. This is still my main hope. It is in the description as always. And third is this, which I use mainly for hair because it's textured. Baby number three, I do not use at all. It sucks. End of discussion. Anyway, let's go back to our eye. Now, for blocking out the base color, I use the lasso fill tool. And Ibis Paint is over here. Just click special. Then you select a color real quick. And then bam! Okay, wait, let's add an eyebrow. Material real girl eyebrow All right okay you know what i'm gonna stick to the original color palette let's try to make this as similar to the original as possible so here's just a reference for you guys to know where to put the shadows and the lights so now that we have that guide let's put the shadows and highlights i basically just put large blobs of these three colors onto the drawing Okay, let's put the base colors. Let's block out the shadows and the highlights. Wow, this looks very crusty. You know what I've noticed with my old style? It's so pink and edgy. I mean, my art style now is still kind of edgy, but I don't know. It looked way off. It's like they look like dead corpses. So weird, bro. Since it's kind of part of my style to color eyes this way, I colored the eye with a dark purple color. Trust me on this one, guys. It's not. Hell no. I will not trust you in that one. I will not trust the process. You know what, guys? I've had a change of heart. Looking back, look at this. Look at them. Like, why do they look so high? Like, they look so wasted. It's like they've just smoked five pounds of weed. I don't really like it anymore. I've grown as a person. But again, for the sake of this video, let's use a dark purple to fill this in. 
So I'm just blending more and more and painting darker colors just to define my drawing even more. Honestly, why do I sound so nice and innocent in my old videos? This isn't me. I'm a horrible person. Let's just blend it a bit more with an airbrush. You know what guys? I physically cannot take it. The eyes look so weird. I'm gonna have to lighten the white part of the eye. There we go. Much better. He is now in rehab. No longer a drug addict. I'm gonna add some deeper shadows real quick. So I just merged both of my layers to make this process easier. I don't know about you guys, but using multiple layers is really tedious and ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Why are you so corny, bro? It seems like I've always been corny since day one. So let's do the eye real quick. Just little toddler doodles. And then let's add the highlights and the eyes. And you know what? Old Cooley drew these little eyelash thingies on the eyes. It's an art style, okay? I got a lot of hate for drawing these. You know what, guys? This is getting too crusty. I've really got to blend everything. Thing, okay. Also, I added some more eyelashes to increase the hotness of my drawing. Doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl, lashes are always hot. Amen to that. Old Colleen and I disagree on a lot of things, but not on the fact that lashes are sexy. Okay, we're just gonna finish real quick. I think I made it a little bit too detailed and less anime. So I'm gonna simplify it real quick and soften the features. Alright, we're finished. Here is the speed paint. Okay, let's do another one. Wanna learn how I draw juicy lips? First draw a straight line and divide it into three like- Well, you divided it into two, you idiot, but okay. Let's use this pen and just draw a line and then three points. This. Then we're gonna draw a little bird. Tatakai. Okay, so now we do Tatakai. And then just curve it towards the end. Then draw a little heart between the lines. The bottom is the lower lips and the upper is the cupid's bow. Then use a soft eraser to soften up the lines. This is so much easier to do on PC. Soft eraser on Ibis Paint low-key sucks though. So we're gonna color using an airbrush. Use a red color for that seductive look. Then clean it up just like that. So let's clean this baby up. Airbrush a darker color in the inner parts of the lips and soften the edges. I put a shadow beneath and a highlight on the cupid's bow. So the line is a little bit harsh, so we're gonna change the color of this baby. Airbrush a darker color in the inner parts of the lips and soften the edges. And for that final touch, put that juicy little highlight on the low. Okay, so let's add the juicy highlight like so. All right. All right, now let's paste it on a face. Now that's what I call smell. Ooh, let's try that out. Very smegsy indeed. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, and share, and I'll see you in the next. Stay cool. Watch this video next.